What is going on YouTube, Akers here again with another brand new After Effects tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to create this title sequence intro within After Effects. So if we take a look at this and analyse it a little bit we've got some animation with the shapes with these grey and white bars going across the screen and we've also got a little bit of 3D camera movement at the start. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to make a new composition and I've already got three text layers already pre-made just in the interest of time for this tutorial. And if you want to add text you just go up to the text icon up here and then write your text as usual. So first thing I'm going to add a background so we can go to layer new solid make this a nice light blue okay and I'm going to add another one so layer new solid and I'm going to make this one just a little bit darker like so click OK we're good to go and now we're going to click on the ellipse mask tool which is this button right here if we select that if you double click that that's going to create a perfect ellipse and then if we drop down the mask change the mask type to subtract change the feather to around 200 something like that cool and that just gives us that nice vignette effect for the background just move them to the bottom cool so now what we're going to do we're going to create these bars these grey and black bars that come in so first thing we're going to once again add a new solid we're going to make this one a dark grey like so click OK and then just resize it to around there and then once again new shape new solid make this one kind of a grey blue colour like so there we go resize it just a little bit and you can choose your own colours see what colours work best for you you can choose your favourite colours and one last one one last solid layer new solid and we're going to make this black click OK and we're just going to make this just a little one like so move it up there we go and now what we're going to do we're going to pre-compose these layers that we've just made and basically what pre-compose means is basically it's going to group them into another layer so if there's two ways of doing this you can hold shift command and C or you can go to layer and right at the bottom here is pre-compose and move all attributes into the new composition that's cool we will just leave this comp to OK and if you right click and then go to open composition you can see now we've got our own composition just for these shapes so we can work on these shapes without having to do it in this one and what pre-composing allows us to do as well is we can just copy the pre-composed layer so if you want to copy this one we can do and then we've got more of them but we're not going to do that just yet so we're going to start to animate these bars so the first thing we're going to do is select all these go to around two seconds in the timeline hit P on the keyboard that's going to bring up all the position for these shape layers and if we just hit the stopwatch that's going to add a keyframe and then we move to the start of the timeline I'm just going to um, move this one that way move the black one that way as well like so and then move this one that way so if you play now we already get that effect so that's cool so if you go back into our original composition 
you can start to see how this starts to get built up it's going to shorten the timeline a little bit so now what we're going to do we're going to control C control V copy and paste this layer if we move forward and if you hit W on the keyboard that's going to bring up the rotation tool so W on the keyboard and then just position this hit V on the keyboard to get back to your selection tool to move it around and you just want to position this where you'd like like so so if we play now we get that effect but I'm just going to move the this one and change it to a sort of change this to a 45 degree angle so we hit W on the keyboard that's going to bring up our rotation tool again and just rotate this 45 degrees like so hit V to get back to our selection tool and then all you have to do is just position it like so I like to make sure that the the two thinnest black lines meet in the corner so just position it just about there and if we play now boom we're already sort of there but there's a few more things that we can add and that is if we control C control V the pre comped layer again hit W to rotate it like so if we just move the comp up and you can position this one just so it goes over the text like so we might actually want to rotate it the other way like so there we go so now if we play now but I'm going to move this layer underneath so you can see and move it over just a little bit move it over to just there cool and now if we go back into our pre comped layer we move to four seconds on the timeline and now I'm just going to move that one over there in the opposite direction move this one over there in the opposite direction and same again with that one in the opposite direction and if we go back to our composition now what we get is this effect we could also do with adding some new text layers so when this comes back across like so it will reveal a different text layer so I'm just going to control C control V the text layers move them up like so and then you can just rename this to whatever you want subscribe now subscribe subscribe now exclamation mark hint 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 <laughs> and this is just a case of rearranging the letters could maybe put your YouTube username so yeah like I said at the start this is completely up to you you can use your own colors can use your own fonts try and make it look your own acres HD that's good position this so if we turn our comped layers back on play now and there we go we can also make timeline a little bit longer so we can see what we're doing
and there's also one more thing that I would like to add and if we go back into our pre-composed layer what we're going to do is select all the keyframes that we've made for the animation so select all these and then hit F9 on your keyboard that's going to make turn the keyframes into easy ease keyframes and what that does that basically just smooths out the animation so it looks nice and sexy and there's also one thing that I want to add and if you have a look at this button here this button is the enable motion blur so if you select that one and then the same buttons on the layers here so just select the motion blur button and obviously that's going to create a motion blur effect so you can see as they come in we get this really nice blur effect and it really adds that sort of that sense of motion so it gives your animation just that little bit extra so if we do a RAM preview now see how it's looking and also one quick thing before I leave if we have a look at the example that I showed you at the start we've got this 3D effect with the camera panning across and if you'd like to add that effect all you have to do is go to layer new add a new camera 50mm lens that's fine click OK and all you have to do is turn all your layers into 3D layers and you can do that by clicking this box here which is the 3D cube box if you just click that make sure they're all checked except the backgrounds that's going to make all your layers 3D and if we select this button here which is the orbit camera tool if we select that now what we can do we can move around in 3D space and this is also pretty cool as well because even the shape layers that we've made are within 3D space so if you want to animate the camera all you have to do is select the camera layer hit P on the keyboard that's going to bring up the position again and if we hit the stopwatch that's going to add a keyframe and if we move to the start of the timeline and select this button up here which is the camera tool select that and what that allows us to do is move around so we can set it there like so and if we play we get that 3D camera movement with it panning across so that is all good so that wraps it up for today's tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment box below and I will see you again very soon in another video thanks for watching guys catch you later